Jeez. Just want to scream, but I always don't do it really in a genuine way. Like I could try screaming, it'd sound fake. I think this is the last stage, people. Uh, let's see, Tower of 30. Oh boy, 37. Is that like 37 floors we have to go through? Finally, we have to get the last door. We fight and kill Dark Mario and rip his goddamn game, uh, guts out. And our adventure will finish. Before I leave, though, I would celebrate a party with all of you. Cool. I'll prepare this stuff. Only ravioli. Oh, Mario, you, you Italian stereotype, you. Wait, what do you say? Only ravioli. Capiche? Mario, please stop saying ravioli, ravioli. I'll take care of the party. Don't worry, I'll bake a cake. I'll make a big party with a big cake. Only ravioli. Motherfucker. But we have to kill Dark Mario first. We'll worry about the party later, okay? Come on, let's go. Only ravioli. Stop! We have to go! <laughs> oh my god, I, I love you, Mario. You're, you're awesome. Especially when it comes to your ravioli finish. Never knew you had this uh, ravioli obsession, but lo and behold. And this creator really has a hard on for putting, putting these turtles right at this spot. It's really inconvenient, too. There's probably going to, no, there isn't actually another one. That's uh, surprised me. What? Uh, he's a little glitched. I don't think that was the intending, uh, the intended effects. And whatever. You know, that's that's why we have hitboxes. I mean, hitboxes. What? I mean, that's why we have invincibility frames because. Oh yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but long jump for the rent. I mean, that's also a weird thing about this game. It's like you grow up doing, you know, a, a, a certain set of moves for Mario from this particular game. When you introduce new abilities, it's it's not apparent. It's like you kind of forget they're there after a while. It's like, oh, long jump. Uh, yeah, that's right. We had that at one point. Oh, okay. So these things transport you back. Um, no, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. Please don't make me have to do that. I will hate you forever. And you will have to buy me ravioli. That's what's going to happen because I'm fucking Mario. And no, he he doesn't want the cannoli. He wants the ravioli. So. I mean, go to his birthday party. Uh, you know, what, you know what to get if you don't want to be on his bad side. I swear to God, has has Mario learned anything from the Godfather? It's not, it's not the ravioli that they're referring to. It's the cannoli. Even though I'm kind of forgetting what the hell. That, oh, really? Oh, that's this. This could be bad. This could be bad. I'm not gonna lie about it. Want me to be a liar? I don't think so. And oh my god, that's douchey. Please give me the ability to see my enemies before they attack me. So I'm, I'm the freaking hero. I can't die to some freaking dry sack bones. Can me? What? What? Oh my god, really? One complaint I have to say about this game is. Uh, how the bosses are set up, they're a little too, too ridiculous, actually. I mean, if you're going for a game that, you know, is, if you're trying to go for a game that doesn't, like, require the use of save states, then, oh, you dick. This isn't one that you'd want to play, because, uh, boss fights, for one thing, they will kick your ass over and over again if you try going the legit route. Stages, though, 
you know, for the most part, they're not too bad. They're pretty friendly when it comes to, um, not safe seating. But bosses, those, those little fuckers are, they're horrible. They'll kick your ass. It's, it's really merciless. The kind of, uh, and, <sighs> alright, come on, can we do this? Yes, we can. But the bosses in this game can be very merciless. In difficulty, that is. I mean, yeah, if I wanted to try and do this at, like 100% legit, it would not happen because I would, I'd be getting my ass kicked by the boss, especially the first boss. You know, they don't really differ from a boss to boss. Jump like you've never jumped before, Mario, I swear to god. Oh, what? What is this? What is this witchcraft? Where am I? Who am I? Who am I talking to? Okay, that's a little distracting. Am I just... Yeah, I am just backtracking. I'm, screw that. I'm sorry. I'm, I do this so I don't have to waste time. I want to enjoy the game. Oh, shit. Shit. Ha. There we go. The long jump saves the day. I think there was like another ability that... Well, besides the wall jump, I think there was like a third ability that they have in this game. We only made, like, use of it, though, once. If I'm correct. Oh, no, not vines. I hate vines. I'm really bad at jumping on vines. Let me guess, if I choose... Okay, that was right. Where am I going? Where do I want to go here? After lots of wall jumps and long jumps, our heroes reached the highest room of the tower. And no shit. Lots of wall jumps. They opened the door, and a strange guy was inside, holding the fourth sphere of power. The strange guy, scaring all of our heroes, screamed, I'm Louis! What? Louie, what the hell? What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? You scared me! Oh, oh, sorry Mario. You prefer to die? Hey, I remember you. You're 37, one of Dark Mario's main minions. Don't call me 37, you fool. I'm Louie. No, you're 37. No, I'm Louie. Hey, stop it. You're wasting my time and energy, useless. I'll decide to call you Louis 37. Is it alright? Ask if it's alright. Alright, sorry, Silver. So why why do all of you come here? What do you want? Give us the sphere of power so we can kill Dark Mario. Hmm, sounds fun. I won't give you that orb, but I want to kill you all. Power of Marchers! What? I'm invincible now, and I'll die. Go on, Louis37. I'll blow you up like ravioli can. Con what? Kana fungi? Ravioli cani fungi? Fight! What? Oh, uh, sh- What? This does not- What? You can't do this. This is- This is Game Shark shit. Wait, I just- Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Here, Funguli. Funguli all over you. I have a feeling I was should have done that. I am going to regret this every second of the way. Oh come on! I could not even see my sprite. That is some major Funguli. Well, you're a dick. Okay, you're a jerk. No, I would never invite you to my birthday party. <laughs> not like I have them, so... Uh, you're not missing out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I brought up your... What? No, not this shit again. I, I hate this shit. I cannot see! You 
want me to fight something in which I can't see? No, don't bring up this Karate Kid bullshit on me. I'm sorry. I don't have a Mr. Miyagi to train me. I wish I did, but I just don't. Mr. Miyagi is not here anymore. Thank you! I killed him. He's dead. Arg! Disappear! Ravioli power! Take this! Oh wait, it disappeared. Looks like he's gone. Now let's take the orb of power. Can't be that easy. Really? You got the ice orb. Now you have them all. Pokemon. I'll create a star portal that will get us directly into the star, uh, Dark Mario's castle. Okay. Okie dokie. It's done. We have to go and destroy Dark Mario for the Mushroom Kingdom and for the future. Indeed. Let's go ravioli man. After that, our heroes headed to the star portal. Louis 37 reappeared in this room. Or in his room. I did all the possible, Master. Forgive me, but Mario is going to kill you once and for all. And I will do nothing for saving you. I'm sick of all your orders. I hope Mario will let you die slowly in with pain. <laughs> the evils in this realm are going to disappear, and I don't want to. I'll find a way to not die. Maybe I can. <laughs> oh, Louis37, they should make a game based on your character. Your adventures of searching for ravioli. No, wait, that's Mario's adventure. I'm sorry. Master, I hope you die a slow and painful death, and I hope you effing die. So, let's go to the star portal. Yeah! Oh my god, it's almost 1 o'clock. Oh, wow.